Hey everybody! Hey Hello. guys! Hi. This is Magiliv. We're the Vasquez family. I'm Matthew. I'm Jenny. I'm Jimmy. I'm Jose. And I'm Joshua. And today we are going to be reacting to the official trailer of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. The fact that I'm even saying those Destiny. words I know. is so exciting. But yes, we only got a teaser for this movie so far, and now this is the official trailer that came out during Star Wars Celebration <gasps> Europe 2023. That's also where we got the Ahsoka trailer. So yeah, um, yeah, it's very very exciting times. And yes, we don't really know much about what this plot is going to entail for this movie. Mm -hmm. Just kind of Harrison Ford's bow out for Indiana Jones, which is nostalgic and emotional. It's just Indiana Jones means a lot to all of us. Yes. Um, and he's a multi generational character for sure. Yeah. Um, so we're excited to jump on in. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoy our reaction to the official trailer of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Here we go. Same for the goddaughter. Dad told me you found something on a train during the war. A dial Whoa. that could change the course of history. Why are you chasing the thing that drove your father crazy? <laughs> Don't move. Please get out of here. Stop! Sorry. Helena! Dr. Jones, get him. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa. See, the fact oh that Harrison gosh. Ford is doing this is insane. Hitler oh. made mistakes, and with this, I will correct them all. You stole it. Then you stole it. And then I stole it. It's called capitalism. Hey! Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> that they did that. <laughs> oh, the music. Oh, she built. There might be some tablets. You've taken your chances, made your mistakes, and now a final triumph. Oh. Indy, give him hell in the world! A few times in my life I've seen things. I've been tortured with voodoo. Oh my god. Been shot nine times. <laughs> including once by your father. been looking for this all my life. Wow. Man. Huh. Oh, man. <laughs> man. June 30th. <gasps> Damn, wow. that is... Who did wow. the music? That got me, man. That was good. Yeah, I feel like they really, like, tied everything, like all the movies up into a bow and, like, like mm. they're closing it up and encapsulating yeah. it, all of it together. Mm. Yeah, there'll be a lot of really fun adventure on this one. A lot of good yeah. references to some of the, like jumping out of the plane, minus, you know, the inflatable, right. um, what was it called? Um, safety raft or rescue raft, whatever you call it. <laughs> yeah. That, you know, that's the Temple of Doom. and But it, there, there's a different, there's a new chapter there embedded within the different different stories we've heard mm -hmm. but there's ah oh, such a nostalgic oh i feel so old <laughs> <laughs> i feel so old with this one because yeah. it's it's so i mean it's so monumental to think back to those days like those sundays or usually like a friday i'd, I'd come in from playing basketball like all tired and i just turn the tv on and start channel surfing <laughs> just uh, and Jones, just like yeah. just run into Indiana Jones on TNT or something or yeah. just or you know it, it's just been such a journey to then and then when I met you love and it's one of your mom's favorite movies and mm -hmm. it was you one of your favorite movies you know and then it's just it's just fantastic so many so many chapters in my life with this one and then now sharing it with the kids has been well this amazing. whole I I do believe is it coming to like theaters will it be in theaters I believe so yeah you don't put this in I hope yeah, I was no, hoping I, I was hoping so because I, I was also thinking about it 
Wouldn't this be officially kind of like our first time watching an Indiana Jones movie in theaters? Yeah, it would you be. Guys, yeah. Yeah. For the three I remember seeing Crystal Skull, actually. Yeah, we I do saw remember Shia Crystal Skull. I do remember yeah. seeing But were Crystal, we al- were we alive? You were, but you yeah. were like babies. You were there, oh, you were, but you probably didn't yeah. I guess that's kind of like... it as much. Probably shouldn't say that, because then, you know... I think people feel old. But oh, yeah, no, no, but it's, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's true, though. It's yeah, it's true. And it's not just, again, it's not just for us, but anybody. Any, 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 bleh, any Indiana Jones fan yeah. out there that has, you know, kids and has a family now, like, you can share that with your, with your kids. You and know, this doesn't, it becomes a multi generational story. It doesn't story. seem like it's, it's writing too much on nostalgia to do well. Like, it truly does feel like another mystery, another relic to find, mm-hmm. another yeah. adventure to go on and, and, you know, for the people that know this character and that love this character, we can follow him but and also just it's love like the ride. And yeah, because mm-hmm. he's it's, retiring. He's and there's there's retiring. actors that come back. There's certain things, and the 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 conflict does seem very interesting. Yeah, like of course that guy's playing a villain again. He's fantastic. He's fantastic at doing it. So, <laughs> but nice he said job. something. Yeah. Did I hear right that he was he's trying to correct things that Hitler did correct. wrong? So he wants to go back in time and basically yeah create. That's that's terrifying. Yeah. You know, so that is a very real, you know, high stakes. And as, as you know, like, Indiana Jones has had many run-ins with the Nazis. So it, it makes yeah. sense that it would, yeah. And the last crusade you know, is... Yeah. Um, I trick. do get... I, mean, I don't want to say I'm wary, but anything that has to do with time, travel and time is always interesting. Like, it can go both ways. Yeah. Um, I'm very curious to see what they do with it. Um, If he's going to, like, encounter... I'm just curious. Like, is there going to be time travel involved where you have, like... You know, it's two just, Indiana Jones at, at once. Yeah, like who knows? Who knows? It's, it's very, very interesting. And the fact that he's been searching for this his whole his whole life, um, you know, it's it's very. I it's can't very wait to curious see how, they, like, how they do it all. What what caused him to be looking for that his whole life? You know, everybody that's known this character for a long time, you know, what do you mean? Like yeah. we we haven't known about this, so we'll find out. Yeah, and hopefully. there's new characters that he's apparently known for a while. Like, um, his goddaughter is, um daughter of one of his great friends it seems like or else he wouldn't right. be his he wouldn't be the godfather he wouldn't yeah. be right, the godfather. Right. but we i don't think we've ever met that character so again there's some world building there some character building so mm-hmm. nonetheless it's just it's great to get you know one more one more indiana jones movie i think what stabs at the emotions too a lot is that they're going back showing flashbacks mm-hmm. and yeah. seeing him in those you know the earlier times to to now it's just mm-hmm. yeah it brings it all back yeah, it's gonna be very interesting to see those those flashbacks, but they kind of have to do that to kind of give some, some insight context. as to his history with it. Mm-hmm. Um, well, they could do that know. now, and if they have him to be there to have his face captured, and then you know, we'll we'll see it. Well, that, I think that's what intensifies the nostalgia. That yeah, you know, I'm I'm the age that I am now, but if we're gonna go see this movie in theaters, but there's a young Harrison Ford suddenly on the screen, that's gonna amp up the nostalgic. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, I got nostalgia watching Lord of the Rings with these guys last year and looking to my left and my right and I've got my big babies next to me and <laughs> yeah, and it's going to be a similar kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. I can't help but hope that the actor, um, the young kid, who is now not a kid, um, what's his name, Deb, from Everything Everywhere. Oh, Kei Hui Kwan, yeah. The yeah, yeah, if he made a cameo in this, that would be... Yeah, that'd be that would be really cool. wonderful. Uh, really I was, cool. was going to say, pretty... though, too, I feel like the, the teaser trailer was very much so the visuals of this movie like the the, the, mm-hmm. the shots the mm-hmm. the feeling and uh, the horseback riding and there wasn't a lot of dialogue or any um they didn't disclose any of the story but this one was a story trailer they were talking mm-hmm. about what's going on his is he how he's retiring how his goddaughter is again another another woman character who is uh, uh, has like ambitious. yeah overly <laughs> ambitious has two faces like that that Even is like God. one time a bad guy one time a good guy and then a bad guy again then a good guy yes. again so yeah. which is always it's always fun so and it's that level it's of him probably seeing something's never changed a little yeah. of himself in her you yeah. know and a sense of like that ambition of wanting That's to true, find yeah. it and mm-hmm. and you know this thing that he's wanted to look for is it something he really wanted to find, you know? And now mm-hmm. he's being dragged into it. So there's a lot of great things there. And the fact oh, yeah. that James, I think it's James Mangold, mm-hmm. um, the the um, director of Ford v. Ferrari and Logan, which are both phenomenal movies. Yep. The fact that he's a director of this does give me hope that mm-hmm. he does see the story, that there is a vision there. Mm-hmm. Um, and John Williams you know. is working on it, man. Like yeah. that is so, so regardless, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be great just to see Harrison Ford play this character. Mm-hmm. Um, one last time it's, it's going to be emotional for yeah, sure. Emotional. It's, it's going to be, I mean, these movies, 
I think definitely it, it are like are like one of those movies that just changes changes the well, what it so means to be a Hollywood icon. Too. Mm-hmm. They're you know? so timeless. Like sometimes I forget how much time has passed. Like I love rewatching the Indiana Jones movies and even seeing Harrison Ford in Star Wars too for the first time. Just you forget how long ago it was made because of how timeless it is. Mm. So it's yeah, it's kind. Of, it makes sense as to why you probably feel older. Or like a lot of time has passed, just in general, not yeah. just even with Christopher but like, Lloyd in yeah. Mandalorian. Yeah. Everyone in general, yeah. like that's the beauty of movies is that it's truly timeless and it, it'll always have the a special place in everyone's hearts. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. great. Yeah. So. yeah, there are time portals in and of themselves, movies, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You sit down in front of a movie you haven't seen since you were two, and all of a sudden you're two again. Kind of like this Beautiful. channel. We've gotten yeah. comments about how much yeah. these guys have it's changed true. in time, five years. So. Time flies. Time, time, flies. time yeah. flies when you're having fun and, and I think, watching movies. I think mm-hmm. the very beautiful thing about it is... You know, regardless of how good this movie, com- you know, people can say what they want and have speculations. But regardless, you know, if if a parent takes their kids to watch this movie and they're younger and they're like, oh, who's Indiana Jones? You know, then that's that's the gateway into then showing, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, your kids these movies that you grew up with. And so it's it's great. It's one of those. Mm-hmm. It's just I think it's it's going to be a great summer. It's going to be a great summer for movies. <laughs> yeah. so. Yes. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for joining us today. We hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to the official trailer of Indiana Jones and the Dial mm-hmm. of Destiny. We want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments as to what you guys thought of this trailer, uh, what Indiana Jones means to you, uh, any memories, any vivid memories you have with Indiana Jones. Uh, we'd love to hear um, what you guys have to share with us in the comments. We'd just love to connect with all of you. Yes. But besides that, go out there, spread your light, and have a magical day. <laughs> Bye. Bye.